Good day all. Today in this video, I am here to present before you discuss module in Odoo 40. So this module is used to make internal communication in Odoo. So a user uh, can make use of this software support for engaging in time conversation or group chat uh, with their colleagues. So this system that is using this, uh, we can improve business communication and reduce need for sending business emails. So in a uh, fast way, we can make communication, conversation with colleagues. So Autodiscus is a user-friendly application and is a platform that permits user to send or receive messages. Uh, so we can send or receive uh, messages from any application or it allows user to send receive messages from any place in Odoo. So we have different applications. Uh, so if you are handling uh, purchase management, it is possible to make conversation, that is discussion. So here above we can see conversation icon. So when you click on this, you can see all new messages and you can make chat and you can see all the created channels and you can open and make conversation. And it is also possible to handle warnings. That is, discuss module handles warnings and messages effectively. Moreover, user will never neither have to worry about other people seeing personal communication. So it is a it is designed in a, a way that it can be integrated with all applications in Odoo. So when you install a discount, uh, sorry, discuss module, you can see the module here. And when you open this module, you can see uh, the inbox. That is, you can see the main inbox where we can see all your conversations. And it is possible to see the start conversations and history of communication and various other categories are also available. That is, we can create channels and make direct messages. That is, make direct conversation with uh, employees or users. So this direct message is uh, used to make private conversation with a particular person. And group conversation can be done uh, by creating channels. So channels can be private or it can be public channel. So in order to create a new channel, we can click on this plus and you can create a new channel. So when you type the name of the channel and you can create public channel or we can create private channel. So just click on the first option. So you can create public channel. So a public channel is created. And if user if user wants to make changes to the created channel, user can click on the configuration section. That is here you can see an icon. So just click on this icon and can make changes here. So if I choose channel settings, here it's possible to edit the configuration. So on the top, you can uh, find the channel name. So user can also find a lot of options to enable an option to send messages of this channel by email. Uh, so you can see that. And user can set privacy of the channel also. Then he can provide description. So in order to set privacy, here you can see privacy tab. Uh, so under which you can manage the privacy of the group under this tab. And uh, so here you can find a field that is who can follow the group's activities. So here the user can either select one of the three options. That is everyone can uh, follow the group's activities or invited people only, then selected group of users. So when you choose this selected group of users, uh, here we have to set an authorized group, select an authorized group. And here we can uh, see also see an option that is invited people only. So for that, um, this is used, uh, this, if we choose second option, then uh, invited people only can follow this group's activities. So from here, it is possible to add followers to this group.
then you can see a field that is auto subscribe groups so once this is done members of subscribe groups will be automatically added as followers the followers will be able to manage subscriptions manually if required then you can see a field that is auto subscribe departments uh, so this will help the user to automatically subscribe members of the selected departments to the channel so you can select department from here so for these departments uh, that is uh, the members in the in this departments will be automatically subscribed so after making change in the configuration you can change uh, save this and then we have a members tab so here this helps you to add new lines to add recipients and their email details so here you can see uh, three recipients are added and their emails and user can also add attachment if required so after making changes you can say this then here you can see our direct messages so user can follow the same method used for channel creation for creating direct messages also so from by clicking here we can add direct messages so we can i'm selecting mark demo and we can also see whether the user uh, if the user is in present in this, this application so you can see that mark demo is offline and michel admin is online So if you try to make conversation, you can see is active. As I said before, on receiving any messages in conversation box, user can click on the box and continue communication. So the user will not have to go to discuss mode to respond to communication. And Oro gives you opportunity to virtually track all business related activities. So every aspect of business from an opportunity to quotation task can be managed with the help of this module. So in sales or purchase module, we can make use of this feature. So when you go to sales or purchase, you also can easily find conversation thread at the bottom of the sale order or purchase order. So if I create sale order, Here you can find option to send message. Here you can send message, and it is possible to add smileys here. And we also have an option that is log note. So user can send or respond direct messages from here by clicking log log note. So user also can schedule activity if required from here. So here you can add log or internal note. And you can also schedule activity. And as I said before, discussion module makes it easier for user to monitor updates and progress in OU. So in the form of notification, he can uh, track the updations. So for those using order notifications and messages appear, 
next to your inbox. So user can easily remove the read messages from the inbox as check marks and uh, differentiate read messages from unread messages. So you can see, okay, the mark demo have communicated. You can reply to mark demo by clicking this and say hi back. And when you come to discuss module, you can see those conversation here. So that's all about discussion module in Odo 40. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprosis.com. Thank you.